is a, a collaborative uh, work uh, between um, a French and a New Zealand teams. And uh, this is a part of a PhD of Ronan Leroux. Uh, so this, uh, this uh, project is including in a European project, the Life at Viclim, uh, which have for, um, to object the objective of um, uh, study the, the climate at local scale uh, and um, to see the consequence on uh, vine development in order to uh, develop strategy adaptation uh, in a context of climate change. So, as everybody knows, uh, vines uh, is uh, sensitive to climate and particularly to temperature. The temperature affects uh, vine uh, development and uh, also grape quality and at the end wine quality and typicity. So to measure the effect of the temperature on, uh, on vine development, bioclimactic indices have been developed and in this study we will use um, Winkler index. So uh, it's really important to, to study climates at, uh, at a vineyard scale, at a very local scale, because each vineyard has its own specific temperature distribution, and uh, which is the result of uh, multiple interaction between climate processes at varying scale from global to local scale. And at vineyard scale, the temperature is uh, influenced by uh, local, uh, environmental, uh, local parameters like topography or environmental parameter like uh, forest or water body. So uh, we are uh, in a context of uh, climate change and in this context we need to improve our understanding of climate variability at local scale to improve our predictions and to better anticipate change by the wine grower uh, and at the end to propose uh, strategies adaptations. So the maps represent the, the projection of uh, Winkler, Winkler classes uh, uh, in a, a short uh, term at, uh, in the period of 2051 to 2050 and at long term to 2081 to 2100 and uh, in uh, uh, different uh, uh, RPC scenario 2.6, uh, 4.5 and 8.5 uh, and you can see that the majority of the French vineyards are uh, concerning by this, by, by this uh, change but um, uh, it's more or less important depending on uh, which scenario it's taking into account. So the, the question is uh, how do we model climates at the local scale and in this study we, we will uh, use two different uh, approach to, um, to model Winkler index, a dynamical model, the weather research and forecasting and a statistical model, the support vector regression. Uh, and we applied this, uh, both models in, on two different sites, the saint emilion and Pomerol site in France and the Marlborough Valley in New Zealand. You can see uh, some picture of, uh, of these uh, two, two areas. So, um, uh, these uh, two different sites have a, uh, uh, have um, a specific climate data acquisition network. So for saint emilion and Pomerol, 90 temperature sensors were est established in 2012 and record hourly minimum and maximum temperatures. And in New Zealand, uh, 37 automatic weather stations were established in the last decade and record uh, uh, data such as temperature, wind speed and solar radiation. Um, uh, on the picture on the left you can see the, the site of saint emilion and Pomerol and these two different sites have very different specific environmental parameters. In, uh, in uh, saint emilion and Pomerol the altitude va varies between um, 10 meters to more than 100 meters and uh, across a succession of hill and valleys and you, you can see that they have uh, some rivers who can influence the local um, uh, temperature and uh, with a, like the Dordogne in the south of this appellation. Uh, the the rail point is the temperature sensor and uh, uh, in New Zealand uh, it's a little different because they have high mountains and uh, oceanic influence but uh, we, we saw that in the presentation of Mike this morning and so these both con uh, parameters uh, create a very specific uh, and complex local um, climate. 
So first, uh, modeling temperature at regional scale with dynamical model. Um, so dynamical models are based on um, uh, fundamental atmospheric equations, and in fact, the principle is uh, a dynamic downscaling. So several nested grids can be used to downscale the, the global uh, climate model prediction to a finer resolution. And uh, at the end, the output is uh, uh, temperature maps at uh, regional scale at kilometer resolution. So in this study, we, we use a dynamical model, the, the weather research forecasting, uh, to map Winkler index. Here I will present you the, uh, the result on, um, over the Bordeaux area in 2040 at three kilometers of resolution. Um, uh, first, we compare the, the, the temperature calculated by the WARF model with the observed temperature of the um, Bordeaux River station and you can see in the, the two graphs uh, the comparison uh, on minimum and maximum temperature. You can see that they have a good correlation, particularly on minimum temperature. For maximum temperature, WARFs tend to reduce this maximum temperature. Uh, the WARF model allows studying climate at a uh, regional vineyard scale. Here you can see the result in the vineyard of uh, Bordeaux and the, we can see that they have a, a great spatial variability and some area like uh, I don't know if they have some area like the Bordeaux, the Pessac Léonien, the Grave Appellations are, um, are more precocious and uh, some uh, vineyard along the, the river. So the second method is to modeling temperature at fine scale with uh, statistical models. Um, uh, statistical models are based on relationship between um, observed temperature and explanatory environmental variables like uh, topography or the position of the, uh, the, the position. And um, in this case, it's uh, necessary to dispose of uh, a temperature sensor networks and uh, this um, a statistical model can produce map at very, very uh, local scale, depending on the digital elevation model used and of a, on the resolution of the temperature sensor network and the density of its uh, temperature sensor networks. So, uh, in this study, we use the data from the temperature sensor and from the weather station to um, uh, and we develop a specific statistical model, the support vector regressions, uh, to evaluate the local temperature variability over the city size. Uh, so with this model, we can create map of daily temperature, minimum and maximum temperature, and by adding these different uh, temperature maps, uh, we can create bioclimatic indices like Winkler index. And here I will present you Winkler index in 2015 over the saint emilion and Pomerol site. Uh, with a resolution of 25 meters. Uh, so you can see that we have a great uh, spatial variability of over 200, 200 uh, degree days. Uh, and you can see that uh, we have a spatial structure which is linked to the relief. So in fact, the, the limestone plateau of saint emilion and his south-facing slope are the warmest part, and the northeast and the bottom of the valley are the, um, the coolest part of the, this area. So. Uh, uh, the, 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 this great spatial variability uh, can induce uh, um, uh, uh, um, excuse me can t reduce a difference in, uh, in uh, on precocity uh, on uh, um, on vine and the timing of ripeness can be delayed by 20 days between the later and early ripening plots. Sorry. Um, in this study, we'll compare the, the temperature variability produced by both models at regional and local scale. So to to compare the, to to reduce the bias induced by comparing outputs of a different type of model with different type of. Uh, um, um, uh, climatic data, uh, we uh, uh, we compare the output of the both model to the uh, average uh, Winkler index uh, over the whole area, and uh, you have uh, the result uh, present in these two uh, these two graph, and uh, we can see that Winkler uh, index variability it's uh, similar in magnitude at regional and local scale for Bordeaux. 
So in fact, with statistical model, you can see the, the very local variability, and um, you can see that at finer scale, this variability is more complex and a lot to identify small scale phenomena. Uh, so the WARF model reproduces well the regional climate, but it's not accurate enough to, to, um, to represent the local uh, temperature variability. If we compare Saint Emilion uh, to uh, the Marlborough Valley, uh, the temperature range, uh, range appears to be smaller at uh, regional and local scale uh, in Bordeaux than in New Zealand, and it's uh, due to uh, uh, to the topography, which is flatter in uh, Bordeaux than in New Zealand, and. Uh, the temperature variability in the Marlborough re region is mainly influenced by the deep valley and the, the ocean. So uh, it's uh, uh, very important to to uh, study the future climate projection at the, the local scale, and it's a challenge to, to measure the impact of uh, on vine development. So here you can see the, the result of the uh, Alada model of, uh, of Winkler index for 2100 horizon with the RCP 4.5 scenario. And you can see that uh, in the area of saint Emilion, just four grid points represent this area with a Winkler index range of uh, 50 degree day. So in fact, the global climate, climate prediction models do not accurately reproduce the local variability of temperature. So um, we, we need to reduce this uh, resolution so we, to, to downscale this, uh, this projection by, uh, for example, statistical model. So uh, to conclude, we can say that um, climate is the result of uh, interaction between uh, different climate, climatic scale and uh, um, dynamical models uh, um, such as the WARF model are good tools to evaluate the regional clima climate and to, be more in to go more in detail, it's interesting to use statistical models which allow taking into account uh, the local temperature variability, so it's multi-scale approach approach allows a comprehensive analysis of temperature distribution over, over, over the, the vineyard areas. Um, and uh, as we already uh, uh, seen, climate prediction models do not accurately reproduce the local variability of, uh, of temperature. So the, uh, in perspective, we can say that it's really important to develop climatic sensor networks to better understand climate variability at uh, local scale by using, for example, statistical model and um, another way it's uh, to downscale the dynamical model output with for example statistical model and uh, it's uh, it's a way to to uh, to better understand the local variability and in this case you don't need to have a, a very uh, a specific climatic sensor net networks uh, so of course downscaling the future climate forecast at uh, local scale is important and we've Using this uh, output prediction model at local scale, we can we, we will uh, model the, the occurrence of phenological stage predicted by, for example, the GFV model that we uh, that uh, of the GFV model, and uh, it will be a very uh, uh, interesting tool for wine uh, grower to uh, uh, to better uh, anticipate the, the climate change and to better adapt the plant material on the viticulture practices to this uh, local specificity of climate. So thank you for your attention.